We are here in, uh, in Maban, one of the places in South Sudan where we have a, a very significant influx of refugees and returnees from, uh, from Sudan. Uh, since uh, April last year, this country has received more than 500,000 people, about 100,000 uh, Sudanese refugees and about 400,000 uh, South Sudanese returnees. What we've seen is that there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of projects that they could be funding. We've heard from the authorities the importance of building a bridge that will expand the land that is available to uh, refugees and to returnees. We heard of the possibility of building a dam that would reduce the uh, impact of the floods that are affecting the region on a, on a regular basis. So these are the kind of things that we humanitarian actors cannot uh, uh, fund, cannot mobilize funding for, but these are the kind of things that African Development Bank and other development actors can actually do. We have decided to partner with the UNHCR because as part of the bank strategy for addressing fragility and helping to bring, to build resilience in countries, uh, one of the tenets is to leave no one behind. And we are extremely, and I think the international community should be very grateful to the government of South Sudan for their open policy in welcoming all refugees who are coming. We are really looking to, you know, help empower uh, the youth and the women of this refugee camp and to give them opportunities, opportunities to be really uh, positive contributors in their host communities and bring about the skills, the knowledge that they had when the crisis struck, where they were coming from and which they are bringing in the host communities.
Thank you.